Amazon may already have Amazon Flex, but they want to invest more in the gig economy delivery business, and they have just made their first major investment indicating their plans to do so. But before we talk about that, let's have a word from our sponsors. Times are changing for gig workers and the gig economy, and there are a lot more gigs from a lot more companies than there used to be. That's why when people ask me where they can go to find resources for the gig economy, I recommend gigworkers.com. At this site, you can see what other gig workers are doing and discover better opportunities from industries, companies, resources, and even and even a forum where you can talk with other people in the gig economy. Gigworkers.com is a great resource site. Whether you work for Uber, Lyft, Postmates, DoorDash, Tax Rabbit, Thumbtack, Upwork, whatever, there's a gig for you and there's a forum for you on gigworker.com. Gigworker.com for all your gigs. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Now we don't always talk about food delivery services on this channel, but we do. And actually, within the last 48 hours, we seem to be talking about food delivery a lot for some bizarre reason. It just kind of worked out that way. Now, some of the companies we have talked about, we have talked about DoorDash, we have talked about Postmates, we've talked about Caviar, we've talked about Saucy, we've even talked about Easy, which is the delivery app if you want to uh, get... <sighs> at home. Figure it out, 420, you can look it up. But there is a delivery app that we don't talk about very often. I don't know if you've ever talked about this one because it's not in America and no offense to my international brothers and sisters, I just sometimes miss these things. But this one does merit talking about because, well, Amazon just made a huge investment in them, which of course, has implications for the industry as a whole, and I consider it to be very concerning because I don't like Amazon. And that company is Deliveroo. And Deliveroo is a food delivery startup that's in Australia, France, Hong Kong, and Kuwait, um, as well as Britain. And it's pretty much, um, it's Postmates or DoorDash. I mean, they're all really the same thing, just a different name. And Amazon has decided they are going to invest in them. Here's what the New York Times has to say. Amazon is taking a big step into the international restaurant delivery business and taking a shot at one of Uber's most promising markets in the process. The e-commerce giant said on Friday that it would lead a $575 million investment in Deliveroo. Sorry, becoming one of Le the London-based startup's biggest backers. The cash infusion will strengthen one of the largest international rivals to Uber's meal delivery division, Uber Eats, which the ride-hailing company has identified as one of its most promising businesses. The reason, of course, is because it's actually profitable. Including the new investment round, which also involves existing backers like T. Rowe, Price, and Fidelity, Deliveroo has now raised $1.53 billion. The startup, <coughs> which was founded in 2013, has become a familiar site in London, Paris, and other cities, with couriers zipping along streets ferrying customers' orders. Though the company began as a restaurant delivery business, it now serves 80,000 establishments. It has also been setting up its own standalone kitchens, an increasingly popular business model. Deliveroo has expanded beyond Britain to 13 other markets, including Australia, France, Hong Kong, and Kuwait, which is very commendable. I, I don't even know how far Postmates and DoorDash has expanded. I mean, I know they probably are in Canada, but... Yeah, I don't hear stories of them, like, expanding to other regions as much as they probably should. So Deliveroo is actually kind of impressive in that regard. The Deliveroo investment offers Amazon another path into restaurant delivery after it gave up its own such service in Britain in December. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is what companies do sometimes. Like, they try it themselves, and when they fail, when they can't take away from their main competitors enough, they ultimately shutter that service and they buy the competition. That's typically what happens. So, um, let's see here. The service which is running in, oh, sorry. We're impressed with Deliveroo's approach and their dedication to providing customers with an ever-increasing selection of great restaurants along with convenient delivery options, Doug Gurr, who manages Amazon's British operations, said in a statement. We're excited to see what they do next. With the new capital, Deliveroo plans to hire more programmers and offer more incentives to restaurants and couriers. Quote, Amazon has been, oops, uh, oops, sorry about that, folks. Um, 
has been an inspiration to me personally and to the company, Will Shu, Deliveroo's founder and chief executive said in a statement. We look forward to working with such a customer-obsessed organization. The bet will put even more pressure on Uber, whose public market debut last week was dented in part because of concerns that its once-metric growth rate was slowing down. By the way, we talked about this extensively on the uh, live stream on Saturday, which you can watch. It's a little over an hour or so. Unfortunately, it's fairly long. Uh, positively, it seemed to be pretty well regarded by those who watched it. But one of the things we talked about, and I was using Uber and Sony's example, you know, Sony has that thing in Japan called S-Ride. And it's for taxi services. It combines all the taxis. But I told them, one of the things that concerns investors into Uber is like, what if Sony, like, say, brought that to America, connected all the cabs to America? Okay, fine. Now, what if one day Sony decides they're going to flip a switch and they're going to say, well, um, we're going to do rideshare now. And for Sony, it's a little extra money. For Uber, if they lose just a percentage of that business to Sony, that's their core product. They are hurting now. So, And here's another thing about Amazon. One of the things that scares me about Amazon, and it should scare you too, by the way, is that whenever Amazon decides they want to get into a business, if they have just an inkling of success, they dominate. And they can afford, as a company who rarely turns a profit, they can afford to lose millions of dollars on something and basically bleed the competition dry. Now, Amazon, I guess, tried Amazon Flex. I mean, they didn't say exactly what the name was, but Amazon was clearly doing something over there. Now, it didn't quite work, so Amazon shuttered it and bought Deliveroo. And that means that they now have another business. Now, here's one thing that probably will happen. Deliveroo will um, definitely be coming to America at some point. Mark my words, it will come to America. And if you're a Prime member, you'll be getting some free deliveries. It'll be very, very lucrative for... Well, I don't know if it'll be lucrative, but people who are in the Amazon ecosystem will definitely get a lot of perks from using Deliveroo. Let's go up to this uh, to this picture right here. Yeah, that, I think that just looks better. And now Postmates and DoorDash will suffer. So will Caviar. All of these companies will start to suffer because Amazon decides they want to get in on this. And I'm sure they'll also tweak Deliveroo to at some point start delivering Amazon packages. Because of course they will. Why wouldn't they do that? So Amazon is definitely taking the on-demand delivery thing very, very seriously. And they are investing highly in it. Highly, heavily, whatever your term is. What's the final paragraph of this say? Um... Uber this year said that it would cut its food delivery fees in Britain and Ireland in response to competition from, Louver, from Deliveroo and Just Eat. So Uber has already decided to cut their food delivery fees to compete with them. And now Deliveroo has the financial backing of the potentially the biggest company in the world, or one of them at the very least. Yeah, that can't be good for Uber. Uber had held discussions to buy Deliveroo last year, according to news reports, but the two sides reportedly were far apart on price. Yeah, something tells me Uber said, this is how much we'll pay. Delivery says this is how much we want. Uber said we're going to walk away. Then Amazon probably not only met that price, but exceeded it. The challenge from Amazon holds an additional sting for Uber. The ride-hailing company repeatedly pitched itself to prospective investors in its initial public offering this month as the Amazon for transportation. And now Amazon's getting into food delivery. And Amazon might also get into ride-sharing at some point. Basically, Amazon wants to be in every single business out there and whenever they do, people flock to that service. What can I say? That's just what happens. Now, I can't say that I'll never use Deliveroo because, you know, it's not even America yet. When it does come here, I certainly won't use it. I'll stick with Postmates, I suppose. Um, not really crazy about DoorDash. I don't want to give them my money. But, yeah, this is how big it's getting. Amazon is investing into the gig economy. They are investing in the gig economy. And when Deliveroo does come to America, because I, I fully believe it will, um, I don't think Amazon would want to mix Amazon Flex with this. I think Amazon wants to get into grocery deliveries, food delivery, and package delivery. So Amazon Flex will be for packages and Deliveroo will be for all the food options. That's just what's going to happen. Um, and the question is, how will Postmates and DoorDash compete? How will they? Amazon has way more capital than them. They have way more services. Amazon can afford to lose money on this, whereas Postmates and DoorDash can only lose for so long. 
especially with the Uber and Lyft um, stocks not doing very well, I'm sure they're looking at and realizing, well, shoot. I mean, we want to go public. We want to raise that money, but that capital is going to have to be it for a while. We're going to have to figure, figure out how to make this company profitable because investors aren't going to be giving us hands over fists of money for the future. Those days are pretty much coming to an end. I don't know. I, I, I wish Amazon would just stop. They need to just stop. I know a lot of you out there love Amazon, and you're like, well, this makes a lot of sense. Well, this is why I feel they should be broken up. I, again, we talked about stuff like this in very much detail on the Saturday live stream. You can check it out. I'll probably link to it at the end of this video. But anyway, I, I guess I now need to just ask the question, what do all of you folks think about this? Does this make you happy, sad? Is anyone here actually deliver for Deliveroo? Um, what do you feel about Amazon investing in the company? Because Amazon's going to essentially own this thing. I mean, I know they probably didn't invest enough to outright buy it. Now it's just a partnership. But if it works out even a little bit for Amazon, Bezos will be buying it outright. They will probably get it for a discount. Because Deliveroo is not publicly traded, so they might be able to just outright buy it. But I would love to know what you think. So, comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, check out the GetUpside app. You'll get cash back on every gas purchase you make. Subscribe to my other channel, the Afterprinter Vlogs. We're putting up daily content to the best of our abilities. And finally, uh, check us out at the Afterprinter Hangouts on Facebook if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare and gig economy people. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.